In this video, I'll demonstrate how to complete data analysis for a multiplex assay using MyAssays desktop. Multiplex assays analyze samples for multiple analytes on a single plate. By navigating to the Protocols tab in MyAssays Desktop Explorer, you can see a preloaded multiplex protocol. We can use this protocol, or we can open the new protocol wizard and choose to create a multiplex assay. Once we've opened the protocol, we can see the tabs on the left-hand side of the screen. The first describes an overview of the protocol. The concentrations will be calculated for the standard curve for each analyte. A plate dilution factor is applied, followed by the sample dilution factors, and finally, percent CVs are calculated. The Measurements tab will allow us to copy and paste in our raw data, or we can use the Import Wizard to import our data from another application like Excel. If we click the Import button, you can see we have the option to import not only our measurement data, but also the plate dilution factor, sample dilution factors, sample IDs, and analyte names. In our pad, you can see the data is separated by analyte headers. You can toggle between the different analytes data by using this drop-down box and visualizing the data in this right-hand pane. You can view the data in 2D or in 3D by toggling between these buttons. And you can click and drag to rotate. You can also choose to view the data as a heat map, with red corresponding to higher values and green corresponding to lower values. By clicking the Plate tab, we can view the data with a plate overlay, with editable values, and toggle between the analytes using this drop-down box. On the Analytes tab, we can add analyte names. You can type the names in here, or you can choose to copy and paste them from another application. The Microplate tab will allow us to define our desired layout. You can select one of the available layouts, edit one of these layouts, or choose to create your own. You can also manage the sample types included in your assay by clicking on the Sample Types button at the bottom right. On the Plate Dilution Factor tab, you can specify the plate dilution factor. In this case, I'll enter 2. Next, on the Sample Dilution Factors tab, you can enter the sample dilution factors manually, copy and paste your dilution factors, or utilize the Series function if your samples have been diluted serially. You'll notice visual feedback on the right-hand side of the screen. The samples currently selected will flash. To use the Series functionality, click the Series button, enter a factor, and an operator. For example, I can enter 2 as my factor, Click Multiplication, and the dilution factors are automatically updated for the entire plate. I can also use the Repeat function to repeat the dilution factors. Let's say the first four dilution factors are repeated throughout the plate. If I enter 4 in this box, you can see that my dilution factors have been updated and the first four have been repeated throughout the plate. On the Sample IDs tab, you can enter your sample IDs by typing them in or by copying and pasting from a separate application. Let's calculate our data and view the report. On our report, you can see the interactive curve fit charts for each of the analytes using these tabs. On each tab, you'll also see the calculated curve coefficients, the goodness measures, and the equations solved for y and x. The limits of quantification are also calculated both neat and taking into account the plate dilution factor. On the Report tab, we can view the sample table and curve information for each of the analytes. You'll see the sample IDs, positions, dilution factors, median, concentration, 
concentration times plate dilution factor, and concentration times the sample dilution factor, as well as the percent CV between replicates. On each of the curve tabs, we can view the fit details, including the calibrator table. This table contains the data surrounding your standards, including the calibrator name, position, defined concentration, median values, average median values, calculated concentration, the percent CV between replicates, and the percent accuracy. The standards that meet our accuracy and precision thresholds are highlighted in olive, and those that don't are highlighted in light red. If we choose to open the report in Excel, you'll see that the sheet format is maintained. By opening the Properties tab, we can view the assay settings. The Transforms tab shows the stepwise data analysis, starting with a standard curve fit transform. Here you can set your curve settings. We can define axes titles and types, and in the Calibrators section, we can select the standard type, and by clicking the Concentrations drop-down box, you can define the calibrator concentrations per analyte. Again, you can use the Series option to set a starting concentration and a factor. You can manually type in the standard concentrations, or you can choose to paste from a separate application. You can also define the units that can be applied to all analytes, or you can set separate units for each analyte. You can choose to include points on the curve, whether to calculate from replicates or the average, assign a fit method, weight method, XY transforms, and also specify the quantification limits. If you choose to use the best fit fit method, the software will automatically configure the fit methods and weighting models, as well as select and apply the best fit. The best fit is determined using the user-defined fit score method, like R squared. In the case of a multiplex protocol, this feature will compare fits for each analyte, meaning that the curve for each analyte may be calculated using a different fit method. For more information about best fit, please see the additional video. Next, you'll see a factor transform. This factor refers to the plate dilution factor. Following the factor transform, you'll see a dilution factors transform, which refers to the sample dilution factors. And finally, the percentage coefficient of variation transform calculates the percent CV between replicates. Under the matrices tab, you can see the different matrices listed in a tree format in the pane on the left-hand side of the screen. Remember that matrices are containers that hold raw or calculated data. You can make changes to their associated settings by selecting a matrix. Looking back at my report, I would like to simplify the sample table to only include the final concentration as opposed to all three concentration results. So back on the matrices tab, I'll select the concentration matrix and deselect the Include and Sample Tables box. I'll do the same for the concentration times PDF. And finally, on the concentration times dilution factor matrix, I'll change the name to Final Concentration. Let's recalculate. Now on my report, you can see a simplified sample table. You can save the changes to this protocol or you can go to File, Save Protocol As, and save it under a new name. If you have any questions about how to use the multiplex functionality in MyAssays desktop, please email us at support at myassays.com.